Honestly, I didn't even know I had this. Your penis? Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm Rick. <laughs> and you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter <laughs> for more juicy content. Twitter. Take it to Patreon, follow us, subscribe, subscribe, and have a like button. Twitter, still how bad, around. How bad has Twitter got? No, it's still around. That even Donald Trump won't go back on. Who? I don't know that guy. Uh, That's how bad Twitter's gotten. Come on back! I don't think so. Today, we got a three dates making uh, last days of shoes. So this is not like a goes into detail of the making but there's some behind the scenes some bloopers got it fun stuff for cool. behind the scenes of three idiots awesome uh, so that'll be fun to see i need to go back and revisit that film um, i i steph still never seen it you it know was, what it was the first indian film we ever watched yeah so she was at work no it's gully boy you've seen babe you've seen three idiots right yeah it's it, gully boy you hadn't seen mm. that's it every indian has seen three idiots it's true even the unborn Indians. Prove me wrong. You can't. <laughs> and it's also like been remade in every other language. So obviously Bollywood's remake would, right? But it's also been re remade in Telugu, Tamil. It's a great movie. <laughs> it's, it's a great movie. Um, well, here we go. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a heavy stream. Seriously. <laughs> I lost the line. <laughs> Come in on. <laughs> that's funny that that's how they did that. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> they needed to, they needed to record a high heart rate. So, actually plug it up to somebody who's running. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's called taking one for the team. Action. you call me a How dare you call me a Not you, you're so awesome, but i <laughs> That's another way to have a martini. Very nostalgic moment. This is my last shot. From the beginning of this film, the first shot they made me take off my pants. The last shot again they made me take off my pants. <laughs> the whole shoot has been so much fun and you know, jokes and uh, pulling each other's legs that I I doubted very much that my last day would be without incident. <laughs> <laughs> to my belief and to the reputation, they all lived up to it and played a super prank on me uh, and made me show my underwear to the pretty nurses in this hospital. You win, I lose. You don't believe me? 
<laughs> Oops, took off too much. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh well. Sorry, could have kept going there. Yeah, could have. Um, that's <laughs> that's fun. I love blooper. That. I just can watch it's blooper all, blooper reels. I can watch for hours. It's always fun as well when there's it's an experienced actor like um, what's his name? Uh, why am I forgetting his name? Uh, um, not not the character, the actor. Old, uh, old, um, um, oh, we just talked about Anupam Karen. That's that's um, uh, Bas, Bob, uh, Bowman Arani. Bowman Arani. Thank you. Yeah, especially when it's a, like a, a, an experienced actor like like him. Yeah, <laughs> I like seeing their blue. Like I like seeing like a Morgan Kane, a Michael, uh, a Morgan Kane, Morgan Freeman, or Michael Kane. Yeah. <laughs> slip up a bit. Oh, and Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was great. And he stayed in character. He's just... I don't have my line. <laughs> You're doing like Godfather. <laughs> he was kind of Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> he had this weird lisp. I need to go back and watch that movie. It's a great movie. Steph has still not seen that movie. So. Yeah, you guys should watch it. It's a great movie. Uh, We're going to have a Gully Boy watching party here soon. She hasn't seen Gully Boy? She hasn't seen Gully Boy. Neither have a couple of our uh, Ashley and Alexis is a long time and Mike is a long time friends, Megan and Michaela, who we introduced Ram Leela to and they fell in love with Runveer. Um, they have not seen Gully Boy. So we're going to see. And that would be their first because Ram Leela was their first Indian film. So now we're going to give them a bit more contemporary. They, what would they think of? They loved it. Yeah. Yep. And they know they know they know. They knew going in, it was a take on Romeo and Juliet, and they loved everything about it. They loved the songs. When he first, they were agog, would be the word. When he first does his shirtless dance. Uh, of course. Yeah. They, and they loved it. How can you not? It's such a... The best thing about that is the fireworks between the two of them. Oh, yeah. Because they were real. I remember just... just I just remember hearing so much negativity about that movie before we watched it. I still don't understand it. I don't, I don't understand it either. Um, but yeah, this is a lot of fun. I never heard negativity about Three Idiots. <laughs> That's why it was our first Indian film. Yeah. We wanted to make, like, we wanted to make sure, like, first Indian movie we watched was a good one. Yeah, and one that was, like, legendary. Yeah, and obviously, like, I feel like that's a good one for a lot of people. It is. Even though it does, like, because it gives you pretty much everything, right? Yeah, it gives yeah. you Bollywood. Yep. It gives you more dramatic. It gives you intensity, but it also gives you fun songs. It gives There's you... There's a great moral to story. There's... It's emotional. It's, it's stupid. I think it's, a, it's just an all-around... And you it ends feeling... You feel really good when it's over. So we've watched, like, I want to say three or, three or four Indian movies in my film club. And what I've noticed and what I've tried to explain as well is that India, more than any other country, I feel like, makes movies for Indians. Oh. As opposed to, like... Yes. Even though, obviously, I think every country makes it for their population, but they also, like, have this broad appeal. Yes. Korean cinema has a very Western broad appeal to yes. it. Yes. Even though it's still very Korean and... and, and a French as well. Yeah. Like you could have a, a French film is a French film, but it's also very Western in how they structure their films. Yeah. India just doesn't care. Mm -hmm. They're like, we make our films how we want to make our films. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to cut down our three hour film because it might not do well in the West. Right. But it did. Or we're gonna uh, mix. We're gonna mix genres all over the place, and we don't care what that does to the story. Yeah. They they really make films for Indians. Yes. Not to say people not, that aren't Indian obviously can't relate to them. Not at all. No. But I feel like there's a, a distinct stamp on Indian cinema and they they just do what they want to do more than any other country. Yeah. Uh, for good or for better or for worse. And still to this day, there's still a lot of people who don't realize that Indian cinema is the, the biggest... <laughs> industry of film on earth in terms of so the just the output yeah nobody makes more films than india that was good yep. let us know uh how long is that one thing because i know that's three hours no um three idiots oh that's not what i'm talking about oh um 
the Lagan behind the scenes. Oh, that's an that's an outright movie, isn't it? What's it called? Into the desert. Into, Into the desert. The desert. Lagan. Yeah. Okay. It's a two-hour behind the scenes. Yeah, for the making of Lagan. Um. That's crazy, though, to have a two-hour movie. I think it's on Netflix as well. Yeah. Of just the entire making of this movie. I'm still very curious. Maybe we'll watch it I someday. I am, too. Um, you've watched have it? Have you seen it? We have a DVD of it. Well, it, Into the Desert, right? Or, well, we're making of Lagan. Yeah, making, making. of Lagan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Has everybody seen that, I'm guessing? I don't know. I don't know, but we have a DVD of it at home. Maybe we'll do, like, a watch-along of it maybe one day. Maybe that'd be fun. Um... Oh, do you know what they just released? Huh. Not related. On the video in here in a second. The something anniversary of plane trains and automobiles, right? Oh. 75 minutes of unused footage no. of John Candy oh. and uh, um, Steve, Martin. Steve Martin in this film. 75 minutes of, of just, just unused footage. Both of them oh, well, that's Im- improving, doing different stuff. Oh, my goodness. Like, there's one of... I saw the, just a clip. There's, like, John Candy was eating a hot dog a chili went on his head and he was like oh. <laughs> he's like you gotta tee it up here like hit it into the airport like I, I'm pretty excited did they just do it now for like, Thanksgiving yeah yeah so that makes just, sense and I don't I'm hoping it's on the digital release as well because I know it's on the DVD so whatever okay. the anniversary of the DVD is but I love playing trains and automobiles and it is a Thanksgiving movie so that's like the only thing it, it really movie. is it's, uh, there, there's there's a couple of others that like sometimes Thanksgiving happens but just that one is Thanksgiving centric that's what they remind me of anyways yeah. anyway let us know uh, what are the making of it is what should be our next Amir Khan film that we should watch we need to get to every single one of them before we're dead let us know down below Just.